we've used small angle scattering to investigate new catalytic materials. We investigated the, these materials with a lot of different techniques uh, in combination with small angle x-ray scattering. The catalytic materials in question are developed by Dr. Zoe Schnepp, currently at Birmingham University in the UK. The reason why they're so interesting is because they're very easy to make. Their production process really reads like a cookbook recipe. For example, if you read a cookbook on how to make bacon, you might find the following recipe. We start with uh, some pigs, uh, we then add some salt, we put it in the oven and out comes tasty bacon. Now the catalysts are made in a very similar way. We, we start with gelatin, which is a pig skin derivative, we then add some metal salts, uh, we put it in the oven at about 800 degrees and out comes this very interesting foam-like catalytic material. Under the scanning electron microscope, this foam, this foam-like structure looks like this. So we see uh, a very open structure with a very high surface-to-volume ratio, therefore good for catalytic materials. Under the transmission electron microscope, we see that the metal salts that we've added have formed these metal nanoparticles supported by the carbon matrix. Schematically, that looks like this, so we have a, a grey carbon support, and in this carbon support we find uh, magnesium oxide particles and iron carbide particles. And the iron carbide particles are surrounded by graphitic carbon shells. Um, interestingly enough, this is not the catalytically active material. This material becomes really catalytically active when you wash away the metal salts, uh, leaving this very porous structure with, these, uh, with the remnants of these graphitic carbon shells. So we wanted to use small angle scattering to try and see whether the structure that we observe under the electron microscope uh, is valid for the bulk amount of material and whether perhaps it can tell us a little bit more. So to make a very long story short, uh, we uh, collected a lot of scattering patterns uh, shown here. Uh, this collected on our laboratory instrument. And we could fit this with the Monte Carlo method uh, described elsewhere. And what we get out of it is size distributions. But now we have a problem, because uh, from small angle scattering, uh, there is no information where the scattering comes from. So we don't know whether the scattering comes from the carbon, the magnesium oxide, or the iron carbide. Fortunately, however, uh, we were very lucky in this case, because we had the sample with the metal centers and without the metal centers, and it turns out that iron carbide and magnesium oxide behave completely different when you remove them in terms of scattering. So with that information, uh, after a couple of months of thinking about this, we could uh, identify in the size distributions that we found regions which we could relate to rough surface contributions, scattering from rough surface contributions, uh, scattering from magnesium oxide particles and scattering from iron carbide particles. So we were very happy with this result also because the x-ray scattering result agrees with all of the other techniques used um, and fortunately after publishing we found that we were not the only ones who were very happy with this result. Um, the, this work got picked up by a couple of news outlets, uh, not only on the internet, but also more traditional media. Uh, and we found even reference to it in the Himalayan mirror, so we know that this science has made it uh, all over the world.